Visual impairments are also associated with PVL. Many premature infants with PVL manifest visual impairments from the hypoxic ischemic damage to the optic radiations. Cystic PVL may result in cerebral visual impairment involving severe loss of visual acuity, a reduced visual field size, abnormal ocular movements, or in the worst case scenario, blindness. Hearing impairment. In premature infants, there's an increased incidence of sensory neuronal hearing loss, which can occur in five to 10% of premature babies. Hypoxic ischemic injury increases the incidence to as high as 20%. And of the 20% with sensory neural, neuronal hearing loss, 75% may have moderate to severe hearing loss and 25% may have profound hearing loss. Cognitive and learning disabilities may also be common. Beginning in the late second trimester, precursor cells in the periventricular regions differentiate into mature neurons that migrate to successive cortical layers. And following migration, the neurons undergo orientation with elaboration of dendritic and axonal connections creating an intricate system of synaptic connections for the newly formed cortex to other brain structures. The exact cause of cognitive deficits in the asphyxiated infant remain to be clearly determined. In premature infants, PVL plays a major role by interfering with the differentiation, migration, and orientation of the precursor cells resulting in an abnormal cortical cellular matrix. The degree of mental retardation in premature infants correlates closely with the severity of motor impairments. In other words, the worse the motor impairments, you can predict the worse the degree of mental retardation. Moderate to severe mental retardation is seen in 35% of premature infants with spastic diplegia in a baby who has spastic quadriplegia, but 75% of that population will have moderate to severe mental retardation. Skills that may be a challenge to an infant with hypoxic brain injury, these could include sensory motor, visual motor, auditory and language processing, short-term memory issues, and the challenges with learning new skills.